Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Oakland University Undergraduate Admissions Virtual Welcome Reception. My name is Ruthie Paula. I am one of our Senior Recruitment Advisors here at Oakland, and I'm so excited to welcome you as new members to our Oakland University family. We are a community of over 120,000 alumni, 1,500 faculty and staff, and almost 19,000 current students. I can tell you as a two-time alum that a four-year Oakland education is the best investment that you can make, and now it's within reach. Many of you may be wondering what your next steps are, especially in this unusual situation for all of us. So I'm here today to walk you through how we can help you, give you those next steps, and give you some great resources to take advantage of. So next, I have the pleasure of introducing our Director of Admissions, Shane Lewis, to share some words with you. Well, hello. Good evening, everyone. And thank you so much, Ruthie. And thank you to all of the students, parents, family members, and guests that are joining us in our virtual audience this evening. I am really honestly very humbled to be speaking with everyone tonight. And I hope that despite kind of the current state of affairs that you're all doing well and staying healthy. Though we would have loved to celebrate your admission with you, of course, on campus in person, I hope to be able to see you all on our beautiful campus again in person this fall. And though we're here, of course, to celebrate with you the excitement that we feel to have you joining the Oakland com community, above all else, we wanna check in with you to see just how you're doing. I want you to remember that at OU, we're here for you every step of the way, and we have made it a priority to be available to you virtually and hopefully very soon in person once again. And many of you might be wondering what your next steps are, and we want to make sure that you have the tools to continue to get the assistance that you need. I'd like to take just a couple of moments this evening to share what we are currently doing to support both entering first year and transfer students, and I'm hoping to address any other concerns that you might be having as well. Firstly, we've made a lot of new additions to our campus over the last year and a half to two years as we've expanded opportunities for both student engagement and involvement on campus. Our newest residence hall, for example, Hillcrest Hall, added 750 beds to campus, as well as a dining hall and a satellite recreation center. Additionally, the Oakland Center renovations including the addition, included the addition of a performance venue, a winter garden, a destination dining location, as well as a lot more meeting spaces and amenities for our students to enjoy. Wilson Hall is also currently being renovated and will have an additional wing added overlooking Bear Lake. It's set to house us, undergraduate admissions, as well as the tutoring center and disability support services, as well as make room for some additional classroom space. Renovation is set to begin soon on Varner Hall and construction is also in motion for some significant renovations to South Foundation Hall as well. I'd now like to address a question that many of you might be asking yourselves as you prepare to start your college career, and that is, how can we afford this? Well, let me assure you that investing in higher education really is the best decision that you can make right now, especially when the demands of the marketplace make having that college degree so much more important than ever. At OU, we really have made it a top priority to help students earn their bachelor's degrees, and we offer a variety of automatic merit scholarship awards for incoming freshman students, including a very recent change to add three automatic awards this year that require no standardized test score. And in light of the unavailability of both the SAT and the ACT given the pandemic, we are also going to be extremely flexible regarding our typical priority deadline for scholarships. We will be considering both updated test scores and grades well beyond March 1st. You can continue to send these updates as you have them for additional scholarship consideration all the way up until the start of fall classes. And as I mentioned, we've expanded our test optional scholarship opportunities. I definitely recommend you visit our website or chat with us this evening for even more information. So as you can see here on this slide, many of our students qualify for scholarships and other financial aid, making their average net cost to attend Oakland significantly less. With over $4,000 in aid that we award to students on, on average per student, you can see that we really do have a commitment to helping make this investment in your future more affordable. After this evening, I really encourage you to learn more about these offerings as well as our payment plans and bill due dates by visiting our website or by contacting an advisor in our student financial services area. Perhaps most significant though in terms of financial aid is that we have eliminated loans for incoming freshmen who have demonstrated financial need for tuition thanks to the Golden Grizzlies tuition guarantee. Eligible incoming freshmen can attend Oakland University tuition-free for four years, meaning you can focus on your degree and your future without worrying so much about how you're going to pay for it. When you fill out your free application for federal student aid or the FAFSA, we do an analysis of your financial situation. 
the federal government then determines how much you and your family are expected to contribute towards your education. This is called your expected family contribution or your EFC. If your EFC is less than 8,000, then you qualify for this award. After your EFC, plus any other gift aid, excluding housing awards, Oakland will cover the remaining cost of your tuition through the Golden Grizzlies tuition guarantee. Transfer students also have eligibility for their own scholarships and grants as well. And at the time of admission, transfer students are automatically considered for these merit scholarship awards. As you may notice, we offer scholarships for up to $5,000 per year for students who meet our criteria. And again, you're welcome to visit oakland.edu slash scholarships for even more information, including GPA and credit criteria. Our newest financial need-based award, the Oakland University Transfer Grant, is awarded to incoming transfer students who have an EFC of zero and 24 or more transferable credits. The grant is valued at $2,000. Eligible incoming transfer students like the merit scholarships who have financial need will automatically be considered for these OU need-based grants. Now, the last uh, point that I'd like to make on this topic is that it's really important to remember that Oakland University does not charge its students any hidden fees. At Oakland, we have just one price, and that's the cost of tuition. So for example, most universities have mandatory fees. This might be a recreation fee, general service fees, technology fees, and then of course, any fee that might accompany a specific class. And every other public university in Michigan, except for Oakland, also charges non-mandatory fees, things like parking fees, uh, orientation fees, registration fees, computer lab fees, matriculation fees, activity fees, performing fees, uh, athletics fees, facilities fees, and so on and so on and so on. That is not the case at all at Oakland. Again, at OU, we have just that one price, and that's the cost of tuition. What you see truly is what you pay. When you add all these up, those additional costs and just fees can really be significant. They do average about $600 per year among the state institutions in Michigan, which is what makes our uh, no fee policy so significant. What you're seeing here is the average cost for the incoming freshman student at all of the public universities in Michigan for this year. Again, we are really proud to be offering an affordable and highly sought after education in Southeastern Michigan. And I really do hope to see you all on campus this fall. Thank you so much for attending this evening and please do not hesitate to reach out to any of us if you have any questions whatsoever. Once again, congratulations and go Grizzlies. And now at this time, I would like to introduce our next speaker who is an OU alumni and excited to welcome you to the OU family. So please welcome Terry Dibble. I wanna start this out by saying I'm a little bit biased about OU. <laughs> I started here in uh, 1976 and uh, completed a bachelor's degree in public administration in 1980. I actually started working here as a volunteer, my first semester here in the physical, it was called physical education back then, now it's exercise science. Uh, I helped the teacher out with his classes and that, and it just kind of grew from there. And we ended up having a facility on campus for stress testing, exercising, and that sort of thing, which unfortunately, unfortunately is no longer uh, there. So I then, my second degree was in 1993, a master's in exercise science. And then uh, I'm actually currently working on a second master's degree in psychology here at Oakland. So as I said, I'm a little bit biased about this school. So they wanted me to talk a little bit about memorable moments at the university. And I have a lot of them. So I unfortunately won't be able to go through all of them. But I probably the one that stands out the most, and you'll hear this from other faculty, staff. I met my wife here at Oakland University when I was going to school here. So that was um, 34 years ago, and we're still hanging in there. Um, so that's, uh, I'm not promoting uh, getting married or anything like that. It's just, uh, I found a lot of people on campus have those moments where they meet somebody. And this is was an interesting uh, situation. I was actually the, I ran cross country here and then I coached for a couple of years. And one day while I was coaching, I, this young lady walked up to me and said, hey, can I run on your team? And I said, sure, but we don't have a girl's team. So you can join us if you want to. Um, apparently she wasn't interested in doing that because I didn't see her after that. And then a short while after that, I was taking some classes for my master's degree and she was actually in two of my classes. And um, 
so I asked her out and she turned me down like twice. And um, the third time she um, said yes. And I said, okay, well, what do you think about going to having Greek food? And she started laughing uh, because I didn't know that she was Greek. So uh, that was kind of a funny moment. Uh, we bring that up periodically. So that was probably the biggest uh, memorable thing but there's a lot to do on campus. One of the things that I did was started a, a student organization. It was called the Health Conscious Society. And basically we were an informational group. We'd have different activities going on on campus. Um, and then winter, we had like a winter Olympics uh, going on. We talked and handed out information on nutrition. Uh, we were doing all those kind of fun things. So I was engaged in different activities on campus. Uh, one of the other probably memorable moments was that we started a cardiac rehabilitation program here at Oakland, which is caused phase three. And uh, it was unique in the state. In fact, it was the first one offered in the state and it grew from there. And that's where the, the other facility came into play when we, when we got so big, we had to move out of the sports building. And the sports building back then was called Lepley sports center. It was probably a third of the size that it is now. And um, I worked there and used to hang out there during between classes, playing basketball. And we, I see that now too, when I go over and exercise, I actually work at the university as well. I teach in the uh, health sciences uh, department on the exercise science program. So I would hang out there. We'd play basketball pretty much all day when we didn't have classes. So I got to know a lot of people that way. Um, and every now and then I'll run into somebody that uh, was part of that, that group. And it's always good to talk to them and touch base with them. One of the things that um, was important to me was I was in the military for two years, got out. I wanted to, I started taking classes while I was in the military and I wanted to continue. And Oakland was right around the corner. I lived in Romeo. And so that was kind of my choice. I didn't really look at any other place. And the veterans office that was here, I don't know if there's anybody that's a veteran that's in this group, but they have a really strong veterans program here. So if you need questions answered, I would encourage you to go talk to them. Uh, they can be very helpful. Uh, but when I was going here in the seventies, it was just one guy and his name is Cleveland Hurst. I remember him well. And he was a big help to get me through school. And I think now, as I look at the university, aside from the veterans office, there's, there are so many resources here that are available to everybody that if you're struggling in an area or you have questions, there should, there's, there should be somebody there that can answer that question or help you, help you out. I, uh, so at this point, bringing myself up to today, um, I'm on the board of directors for the Alumni Association. Once you graduate, you'll be contacted. There's no cost to be associated with the association. And it's and when I was going to school here, there was actually, you had to pay a fee to be part of uh, the, to the alumni. And now that doesn't exist anymore. They do a lot of fun stuff throughout the year. Uh, they connect with a lot of students, just as what I'm doing today. Uh, we find people that are available to go to different schools and talk to students and that. So it's always a good opportunity to share your experiences uh, from Oakland University. Wonderful. So yes, thanks again, Terry. Okay. At this time, I would like to let you all notice a little bit about some of your next steps with Oakland. Um, so of course, this is a reception for admitted students. And so all of you are able to work on some of those next steps that some of you might've already completed, but that will help you in making your commitment to OU and ultimately lead you towards success. So first and foremost, I wanna encourage you to first activate your account if you haven't done so at oakland.edu forward slash activate. 
Activating your account will allow you to choose your net ID, which is your main login, which will act as also your OU email address and give you access to all of the following resources. If you are a student that has received an OU scholarship, first of all, kudos to you. You can go online to accept your scholarship by visiting oakland.edu forward slash scholar accept. You'll need to log in using that net ID that you just created and also your Grizzly ID number. Additionally, all of our incoming students are encouraged to register for a new student orientation, which will start around the end of April. All the transfer student orientations will take place before May 25th, and they will be held virtually. As with many other institutions in the state of Michigan, we are currently assessing the COVID-19 pandemic on a daily basis to do what is best for our future students, and we promise to remain flexible in our arrangements as they affect our whole community. An email notification will be sent to all students and parents as soon as any changes do occur. It is at orientation that you will get a chance to meet your advisor and register for your classes. For students that are interested in living on campus, you should complete your housing contract as early as possible since housing is assigned on a first come first served basis and you can do so at oakland.edu forward slash housing forward slash apply. For those of you that may have taken some AP or IB test scores while you're in high school, don't forget and make sure you send those scores so you can receive credit for all of your hard work. Now I want a chance to talk about some of our resources. So if you've already been admitted to OU, we have some other steps that you can now follow. If you have any questions about FAFSA completion, your financial aid award notification, or anything else about financing your OU education, please visit oakland.edu forward slash financial services to view available events, which includes some of our FAFSA workshops, or you can also make an appointment with one of our outstanding outreach advisors. In addition to financial support, we also offer a variety of different support services for incoming students, including our First Year Advising Center, or FIAC for short. Maybe you've already decided on a major, or maybe you're still exploring your options. The First Year Advising Center can provide academic advising support for all first year students, both those that are undecided or redeciding their major past their first year, and even any of our undecided transfer students. Your assigned advisor will introduce you to helpful tools and resources to assist you in building a balanced schedule and making informed decisions about your major and your future career. After the successful completion of your first year, then you will begin meeting with the advisor from your specific major area. Once you've activated your accounts, you will also have access to an awesome tool called Focus 2OU. Each of the assessment results link you directly with specific OU majors that connect to your specific interest. So if you only have time to take one or two of them, your best go-to resources are the Work Interest Assessment and the values assessment, which will provide quick results that can help you decide on your path and your major to take here at OU. Also, I wanna highlight our Golden Grizzly Guide, which is a great tool that will offer you and your family a way to walk through your first year of college from admission all the way to your winter semester. You can view this resource even now by visiting oakland.edu forward slash GGG. Now, I've already had the pleasure of introducing myself, but I come from an awesome team of advisors. So if you have any questions, we can put you in touch with one of the 11 members of our team who can virtually walk you through your next steps and answer any of your questions about living and learning at OU. And a number of us are alumni, so we can also share some pretty awesome OU stories. One way you can connect with us is by making a virtual appointment. So you can email us at oakuniv at oakland.edu or give us a call at 248-370-3360 so we can get in touch with you and find a time that works best. Of course, we wanna encourage you to keep in touch with us and get all the latest OU updates by following us on social media. You can take a moment even now, grab your smartphone and like us today so you can learn more about important deadlines and also enter some contests to win some free swag.